everyone welcome back to the channel before we get started I'd ask that you subscribe hit that notification button and give this a big thumbs up it gives me an idea of what content you're enjoying and as a whether it's worth for me to do reviews on the bike or you'd rather just see ride videos so I appreciate all the support that you've given the channel our subscribership has gone up dramatically in the last few months so I appreciate you taking the time to do that this is a review of the hammock seat on the, our 2014 Harley Davidson Ultra Limited First things first, the major difference on this seat is it sits you about an inch to an inch and a half backwards and back towards the passenger. The passenger still has a decent amount of room, but it does bring the riding position slightly back. One of the things you'll notice is the front of the seat is up a little bit higher than the stock seat, so it does take some getting used to. You feel a little bit more locked in. And unfortunately with this seat, you do lose back support. It's hard to see unless you compare it to the stock seat, but you lose that rider support for your lower back in the seat standard configuration. The quality of the seat is really good. It's um, extremely comfortable, but it has taken a lot longer than I was expecting for it to break in. Um, the demo seat obviously was already broken in when we tried it, so I wasn't quite expecting it to have that brick feeling to begin with. But the fit and finish of the seat is what you would expect from a Harley seat. I really like the way it looks. It's really, um, it is really comfortable. It does bring you up a little bit. It brings my hips up a little bit higher than normal. So at stoplights, if you're considerably shorter, I'm 6'3", 6'2", in boots, it's going to um, make it a little bit harder for putting your feet down or duck walking the bike at slower positions. But for me, I like it because it brings my hips up over my knees and it's a lot more comfortable on longer rides. So we're really seeing a, a good return in that investment on the seat. Now what I did here, as I added the rider's backrest. This is extremely, extremely a needed upgrade for this seat. It really gives you a lot more back support in touring, and quite frankly, that's what the bike's built for. It helps give you, and it helps make up for that loss that you lost in the standard seat configuration with the dish of the back of the seat being a lot shorter than the standard seat. So this is adjustable. It has four positions up and it has four positions front and back. Did take some time to really find a position to fit me, um, but we were able to play with it. It's very easy to move it up and down on the fly and you can reach in and take it off should you choose. Um, it, it really has helped a lot for longer rides. I was surprised how much support it gives you, even more than a normal seat, clearly, because it's giving you support all the way up through your mid back. So I really like that. It's really, it's, it's made the seat a lot more comfortable. And you can see here in this shot that the dish is a little bit shorter, but the seat is comfortable. So anyway, just a brief review. Thank you very much for watching. Again, if you'd please consider subscribing, hit the notification bell and like this video, I'd greatly appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.